So the next thing we're gonna make, let's make a bit of a market stall. So I'm gonna right click on the wheelbarrow and move it to layer two by pressing M, the number two. So we've still got our character here as our reference and the point is in the middle. The, cur the cursor, what do, we, what do we call it? Uh, yeah, the cursor, the cursor is still in the center. So to start off with, I'm gonna do a shift A. Um, we can do a plane to start off with. Go into edit mode, rotate on the X axis 90 degrees. Now I'm not gonna follow any image on this one. I'm just gonna wing this bit. And I mean, this is the best thing about 2D. We can quickly um, go through it. So what we're gonna do is create a market stall. Um, because it's gonna be predominantly symmetrical, I'm going to control R, left click and right click, put it in the middle. Right click on that face and delete. The next thing I'm gonna go is into the modifiers tab, add modifier mirror modifier and so now anything that i do on this side will be mirrored okay to start off with i'm going to shift d and duplicate that face g size on the x and this is going to be kind of like um what's going to hold up the roof about here size z okay and then let's create an awning. <coughs> Excuse me. Shift D, this bit. Um, rotate 90. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn clipping on. And so what this will mean is before, you know how it was moving every, like I can move it anywhere. Now when I come to the center, these two pieces have now clipped together. I'm gonna just scale that in. And what I'm kind of making at the moment is just a cover. Okay. And let's make that into a cover. I'm going to extrude this on the Y. Okay. I'm going to select this one and extrude. And so this is kind of like the poles. L, N to do the normals i'm going to select these two faces and just extrude it in just so that we've got a bit of depth now what we can do here is because we've got a triangle i can go size y zero and that flattens it out so you can see that it's now flat all right let's now just line this one up to there and i'm also going to go shift d y and we'll put it here just so it's kind of got a roof bring that one down i'm going to bring this forward a bit and what i kind of do is i'm going to make it um kind of curl around so i'm going to extrude this so it's kind of like hanging I'm going to right click on that edge. I'm going to control B to do a bevel, drag it out, and then use the mouse wheel. And now we've got a curve. So by looking at it, this is what we got. Um, because this is going to be a very quick shot, I'm not going to bother about putting... Um, a whole bunch of things in here. I mean, it can be a little bit sunken, um, but if we look at the character like this, this is how they're standing. We need to put something there. What can we put there? Um, no, I'm gonna leave it. So let's color this material. I'm going to select the wood. I'm gonna press the plus sign to duplicate that wood. And I'm just gonna rename it to. I'm gonna make this wood slightly darker. Copy the color. Control L, wood. 
And for the roof, let's make it um, cloth, cloth underscore blue. And let's make it a nice blue. Control L. And there we have it. Rotate X 2.5, rotate, whoops, rotate Z 2.5. And now we've got our marketplace, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing that we didn't do in the last video is we got to set this object as a group so we can import it. So control G market market stand 01 and let's go into layer two and I think I might select everything and move it all back and control G is gonna be market cart 01 what I'm going to do now as well so I'm gonna do a shift D to duplicate, move that to layer three, go to layer three. Um, let's remove it out of the market cart 01 group, gone. I'm going to add it into another group, market cart 02. But with this one, I'm going to rotate, sort of sitting on the ground. Okay, so we got standard one sitting up, one sitting down. Um, I'm going to Alt R on that. Shift D. Move to layer four. And let's go to layer four. I'm going to remove it. And create a new group. And call it Market Stand 2. Um, I might make a wood three and make it fairly lighter whoops clicked on the gray make it fairly lighter the blue cloth i will plus on that one and let's go green Cool. Uh, I think that's a bit of a yuck green. It's going to be too bright. That's way too bright. So let's dull it down a bit. Beautiful. And that's its own market stand O2. So now we've got four assets we've just created.